bring to to your um your what I want to say notice present to you Miss Desiree Clay call her Des she's an author yes. she uh -huh. is um, you with me Des I'm here I'm here All can right. you hear me yes I can hear you yeah I want people to know that you are an author that you are also a master certified transformation coach. You are certified by John Maxwell. You are a trainer. You are a speaker and a disc behavior consultant. That's very, very interesting. I'd like to know about that. And then also you're based in Houston and you are the executive vice president of MC Light, Hip Hop Sisters Foundation. Come on, Ms. Desiree as well as the executive <laughs> producer of the international, not national, right? But international yeah, yeah. radio show, the Millionaires <laughs> Roundtable. Ms. Desiree yeah, yeah, yeah. Clay is with us. How are you doing Hi, today? Um, well, thank you, Angela, for having me. How are you today? I am great. I'm excited because I was. we do need some healing. We need to know yes. how to obtain that because we have been traumatized with all of the things that have happened from a year ago, a little bit over a year, COVID, the economy, yeah. racial unrest, social injustice. And so you've yeah. got a model that says crisis breeds creativity, courage, yeah. and critical thinking skills that can turn your life around. Is, is this where you believe that healing begins? Yes, because here's the thing. <clears throat> when we're in a state of crises, you have no choice but to either sit in it and stay in it or get creative and get out of it. Mm. And so we're always faced with choices and options. And, you know, some of the best things that we ever do on earth or in earth, right? Or some of the best things that we create in life come from a place of oftentimes lack or um, ingenuity, right? So most of the time when you are like broke and shabby, right? You're trying to get creative. You're trying to figure out how to make another dollar. You're trying to get a book. So what's birth? Books of birth, things like that. And so when you start to think about the things that God has already placed on the inside of you, and you start to actually tap, tap into those things, then you realize that the crisis moment that you're in was really set there to help you breed and birth what it was that's on the inside of you. Oh, come on now. We yeah. preaching. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, love Lord. it. You can either sit and stay in it, or what's that last part again? I want you to say you it. Sit and stay in it, or you could decide to do something different you can you can move forward so you, you can sit and stay in it or you can make a transformation with it yeah okay one of your passions is is that you want women you want us us ladies us women to get our lives together yes. so let's talk about those three different there's three different phases women typically go through especially during this pandemic i'm sure all of us have been struggling at one particular point or another the former First Lady Michelle Obama said that she was struggling struggling with low grade depression. So, yeah. so we have a lot of our ladies, our women who have been parenting in this particular pandemic. So, what do yeah. you say to those women? They don't have a strong support system, and they probably lack the resources that have happened within this pandemic. So, what what do you say to them? So I know this is not a, a Christian show, um, but I, you know, I apologize. You do you and be you. <laughs> but, you know, what's in me comes out. And so I just have to mention the Lord because the first thing is we have to rely on God, right? We have to start leaning in because I suffered from depression at one point in my life as well. And I really was very hopeless thinking that there was going to be no way out and that I was going to be in the place that I was and there was no other option, right? But you're, again, you're always presented with choice. And so the first thing is we have to start understanding where our power comes from. The Bible tells us that in our weaknesses, his strength is made perfect. And so we start to rely on his strength through whatever that means for you. I'm not saying you got to pull out your Bible and get deep and start studying, you know, the Hebrew and the Greek. What I am saying, though, is if there is a song that speaks to your spirit, start there because you have to start shifting your mindset, right? Everything starts with mindset. And if you want to actually transform out of the pandemic, right? Right? We got to transform our mindsets first. Um, and that just simply starts with being able to assess where you are. So depression, and you're talking about parental um, depression as well, because I have children and I had a child when I was depressed. And so being able to have someone else 
having to have someone else depend on you and you're already in a very low or less than best state is very challenging. So I would admonish moms and parents who are watching right now who's finding themselves in a state of depression to go ahead for one and put on that music, whatever it is, even if it's not gospel, that inspirational song. I like, uh, what is the Audra Day Rise Up? That is my yes. jam. Let me tell you, when I am feeling low even right now and I'm feeling a little less than best, I'll go ahead and put on some Rise Up because it gives me victory. It makes me see what's not there yet. And when you begin to change what you see, you'll be able to seize what you saw. OK, so you have to be able to see yourself outside of the situation that you're currently in, meaning if I'm in a depressive state right now, where do I want to see myself? Right. So you assess where you are. Yeah, I'm depressed. I might be, you know, without a job. I may have gotten laid off. I may be, you know, living with a friend on a couch. I may have lost my car. I got, you know, uh, picked up, repossessed. I may have lost a lot of things. But what do you still have? And what can you do with what's left? So you assess where you are, then start to see where you want to go. Write out the plan. You know, the Bible tells us to write it, write the plan, uh, write out your plan and make it plain, right? Habakkuk 2 and 4. That's right. So write the plan and make it plain. You have to make sure that what you actually want to happen on the other side of this, you can see it. And the only way you can see it is to write it down. Because, see, our thoughts are fleeing. They're based upon sometimes uh, we can't even control our emotions. So if our emotions become, you know, mad, glad, or sad, then that's what we start to think about. But when you write something down, you get into a space where you got to hold yourself accountable, okay? You just get a little cheap little notebook. Look, this one is laying around right here on my desk. Get a notebook, write it down. It doesn't matter if you, can see, if you know that it's going to happen, but believe for it to happen. Have faith that it can happen. And then you start to put your plan into place. So now, what do I have? Even though I may not have a strong support system, even though I may not have a big family that I can call on, who do you have? Well, guess what? There are agencies and things like that that provide free services. Lean into those things. Um, who can you connect with? There are Facebook groups for everything. You're not the only one going through what you're going through. And sometimes, you know, in business, we say you hire your weakness. So what, what you do is in your personal life is when you create your personal board of directors for your personal life, you go out and you seek out those areas in which you're weak. And so you do the same thing. You get in those groups and you don't be ashamed of your, your situation because Guess what? It's just a small part of your testimony. And I'm sure what you have, somebody else may need. So then you link up. So it's just power and connectivity and collaboration. So I can go on and on. I'm a, I'm a. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it because what you're saying is so true. Power and connectivity. Put on that song that ignites your spirit to come out of wherever you are. So that is absolutely great yeah. because just because you don't have possibly the support system a person may not have the support system that they desire there is support out here for women going through yeah. anything yeah i mean absolutely exactly. anything so so des what do you 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 say that about okay parent women parenting in this pandemic and what about the married women what about they trying to balance this work life and there's yeah. continuous changes in, in in the family and education and the environment as a whole, what, what do you have to say with regards to- oh my God. So that's me, you're talking about me. So watch this, what I do is I am kind to myself. All right. I'm kind okay. to myself yeah. and I'm forgiving because guess what, what I've realized over all these years is that I cannot be all things to all people all the time. That's, and yeah. that's what we do, we put on this cape, right? And we tie it up, we make a cute <laughs> bow, and we take pictures in it. Yeah, yeah, we take pictures in it and we're a superhero. But no, that's not what you were designed to be. So what you do is we constantly, we're constantly given from a place of lack. And when I say lack, I'm not saying in resources, I'm saying in spirit, because you're exhausted. <laughs> you are tired. And so you're steady trying to give and give and give. And you have absolutely nothing left to give. So the first thing is one of my mentors always say, you give from your overflow. So if you think about a teacup and a saucer, the cup and the teacup, everything in there is for you. Everything that falls on a saucer is what you give away. Until your cup is filled, you can't possibly give to anyone else. So that means you have to pull back from your situation and create some time for self-care. I don't care if it's 15 minutes on a treadmill, 15 minutes to just walk out your house and sit in your car and look at yourself and talk to yourself. It doesn't matter what that thing is. The, the, figure out what it is that you need to do to replenish yourself, your soul. And then you can serve in whole heart and spirit and mind to your children, your husband, and your career. You, you can't be all things to all people at all times. It's, it's impossible. You know something? We have been groomed for that yeah. 
from the womb, I guess, inception when we could speak, that we as women, that we can bring home the bacon fried up in the pan and blah, 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 and do this and do that. Mm -hmm. Then we end up depleting ourselves, becoming yeah. just empty. I yeah. like what you said. We try to give from our lack. Yeah. Yeah. I like, thank, thank you for saying that. And so we have to practice self-care there's another sector of women. They are single. They don't have any children. Um, or maybe, you know, they're empty nesters with, with adult children. However, they're engaged in their career, but they've got this failing in the love interest area. How mm. do you speak to those sector of women? Oh, my God, Angela. I've been there, too. Let me tell you. <laughs> I got married, divorced, had a baby all while in college within a matter of two or three years. And I was single for almost eight years thereafter, okay, with a baby, okay? So my thing is this, this is the best time of your life. You don't even have a clue. <laughs> I wish I had known then that when I was single, that was the best time of my life in a sense of um, personal growth and development, right? Because when you have children to take care of or you know for those who are empty nesters your children are gone so now is the time for you to worry about yourself all the things that you didn't have time to do you now have time to do single women who have no children and no mate guess what now is the time to do all the things that you could not possibly imagine being able to do later so you take the time to create the life that you want to have absent of anyone else and then you are able to start building upon those things in which you will leave for your legacy and the generations to come um, if you plan to have children and be married and things like that. But personal growth and development is where I would focus. I would so be in tune to myself. Um, and I'm not saying being, um, you know, narcissistic or in that way, like get my hair and nails. Like that stuff is superficial. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about at the core. Who are you? What areas of yourself? Do a disc assessment, right? You said I'm a behavior analyst. Do you really know who you are? What level of self-awareness are you actually operating on? OK, so that's the, this is the time now to actually start to create the person and become because we're all on the journey of transformation. We all want to become. We're always becoming the next thing. Right. And so it's constant evolution. So at this stage and game of your life, who do you want to become? And then who do you want to see yours or where do you want to see yourself in the future? So, Des, why is that so hard for us as women to even grasp that concept, to grasp what you just said? I hear you, and I know that many will hear you. Mm -hmm. Actually doing that, why is that so hard for us to do? In singleness, and I'm talking about women and their singleness. It goes back to mindset. So where did the thought, we have to start questioning everything that we've ever been taught. Because why do you think that you have to be with somebody and you have to rush and settle in a relationship to be whole? Where did that thought come from? Who gave you that thought? Is it social media? Is it your mom? Is it your grandma? Did you see them settle? Why, why is it that it's okay for you to uh, chase after a guy or a man, right? Even if you know that he is not the right one. Who told you that? Who told you that you had to be, in order to be made whole, you had to have a mate? Because the, 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 the harsh truth about it is you need to be whole before you get a mate. <laughs> you should be... A hundred percent. Like people say marriage is 50, 50. I don't want half of you. I need a hundred, 100. And so it's a misconception and a disbelief that, or uh, 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 it's BS. So yes, I'm talking about the BS that you think. And when I say BS, but I'm also talking about belief systems. And so you have to go back and question and uproot anything that you don't find any evidence to support. If you can't find evidence to support it, then let it go. Mm. Come on now. We're talking to Ms. Des, Des, Desiree Clay. I'm telling you, this master yeah. certified transformational uh, coach is definitely giving us some freebies right about now. She ain't gonna give oh, you yeah. all of it, but uh, she giving you some, <laughs> so you better take some of these jewels. That's so listen, Des, up. I didn't character characterize this particular segment of women. However, they do exist and they need healing, but they're lost right? No matter the phase that they're in, they're just lost. So can you give us a nugget yeah. for those women in that particular position? Yeah. You know, I think there are women that are lost. They have lost hope, right? So for me, all things come from a place of hope and faith. Um, and so 
obviously we're dealing with the pandemic. If you have, you know, you know, you have women who have read every self-help book there is out there, but can't seem to put the pieces together. You have gone to every seminar, you listen to church all day, you praise worship and you shout down your house. And there is still something when all of that is said and done that there is still a, a sense of hopelessness. And that's exactly how I would characterize you. You have low hope. And so in saying that, sometimes that's when you do need somebody like a coach or an accountability partner, perhaps therapy or counseling, because sometimes you can't see the forest for looking at the trees and because you're in it, you can't see it. And so you have to remove yourself out of your situation and start to dig a little bit deeper to say, why am I here and why do I keep feeling stuck? I call it, you know, being on the, the hamster wheel of life. You're just constantly finding yourself doing the same thing over and over again. And we know that's the definition of insanity. So you have to go to the next level and say, I'm ready, but I just don't know how. So the, the bridge between your what and your why is the how. And that's oftentimes what we're missing in our life. We know what we want to do. We know why we want to do it. We can tell you all the reasons why. We can list all the people and all the things that we want to accomplish. And we can tell you what those things are that we want to accomplish, but we don't know how. And so that, that's where hope stands for. Hope is connected to your how. And anytime you can figure out how to do something, you get a little bit more hope. Think about it. If you're at home trying to put together a dresser or something, I don't know, a bookcase, let's say a bookcase, and it's just you, you're a single woman, and you're like, oh my gosh, I don't need all these parts. I don't know what to do. Let me see if I have the tools. They gave me some of the screws. The instruction manual was all these pages, and you're trying to figure it out. At some point when you're looking at it, if this is not in your wheelhouse, you're going to feel a little bit hopeless. You're going to be like, this was a waste of money. But if you sit down and you start reading the instruction manual, manual which is your how, you become, you take it step by step by step. You start to gain a little bit more hope. Like, oh, I'm feeling myself. I can put this bookcase together. I don't need nobody to help me, right? Because it gives you hope when you have your how. And so oftentimes what we do is we don't, we, we, we think big, but we want to have it overnight. So Social media and society has told us that everything, we got to have it instantly. We want to put it in the microwave for 30 seconds and it's done and it's delicious. We want to be able to, you know, wake up and, you know, our, our Prince Charming is right there in all of his glory. It just doesn't work like that. And so that's why I created my signature course, which is Think Big, Start Small. Because <laughs> this is how you thrive in life, love, and career. You can think big. Yes, I want you to think big. The Bible tells us to be extravagant, to ask for the moon. Literally, that's what the word says. However, that don't mean you go get the moon overnight. That doesn't mean you're going to get to the start overnight. You have to think big and start small. Everything is compounded over time. Okay. I, yeah. Oh, my goodness. I don't know about you guys, but I'm soaking this up and give me some of these nuggets here, what she's talking about, Ms. Dez Clay. What other <laughs> classes are you offering, Dez, and how can people connect with you? Yeah, so right now, I'm just really pushing my signature program, which is um, Think Big, Start Small, How to Thrive in Life, Love, and Career. There are three options for that course. The first course is for those people who are like, I'm busy, I don't have time, I don't want to talk to nobody. Okay, so just take the course. It's evergreen, which means you have access to it for the lifetime of the course. When I make upgrades and make additions and changes, you get access to that. So that's at the bottom level. And then I have a mid-tier offer, which is a hybrid monthly program, because some people need a more accountability. So you'll go through the modules. There are five modules and think big, start small. You'll work your way through the modules and you'll come meet with me for three months as a part of your program, um, live coaching, okay? And it's a group coaching because I believe in uh, gleaning from other pe people, right? I believe in the whole mastermind concept where um, when all of us come together, we create a new mastermind, right? Your ideas, my ideas, and someone else's ideas can come together and we can really build something. And so that's the hybrid program. And then the top tier is for someone who says, you know what, I don't want to really um, do this once a month because if I do it once a month, I'm not going to show up even once a month. So that's for you. you. You need to be on the weekly hybrid program, which means you work your way through the course and every week you have a check-in with me. And so that can be found on my website, Desiree Clay.com. That's D-I-S-E-R-E-E, -E -E, clay.com. And if you're just ready to bypass site and see all about me, you can go right to the course. I'm ready to transform.com and go ahead and reserve your seat today. You can find me on all social media platforms at Dez360, that's D-E-Z, it's behind me. 360 all spelled out. And also make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Oh my goodness. Yeah. You are so phenomenal. Thank you so much for being with us, Des. Thank you. Truly, Angela. truly, truly. Thank this for having me. This was great. This was absolutely great for us awesome. to kick off um, this uh, Women's Month with Greg yeah. 
and then you come in telling us how to heal and different things that we can do and should do. Absolutely phenomenal. Thank you so very much. Thank you so time. much for having me. I appreciate you all and happy Women's History Month. Yes, I <laughs> applaud you, Master Certified Transformational Coach, and you're a Disbehavior Consultant. Connect with Des, connect with her. You need her. We need people yep. like her. So thank you so much. Thank you all. God bless. All right. That was awesome. I loved it. We had a great show today. We had a great segment. We are going to do, we're going to go to a commercial and then we're going to come back and wrap up as well as the awesome and phenomenal Desiree Des Clay. She is a master certified transformational coach. She has been certified with the John Maxwell um, training and speaking as well as she is, she is a disc behavior consultant. I'm full today, hoping that you are too. Stay connected with us. Connect with us with our Instagram. It's urban.interest. Remember, urban with that little dot right there, interest. Or if you want to see this segment again, go to Detroit, D-E-T-I-P-T-V.com or go to UIN. You can review this segment. I encourage you to do so because there was a lot of great jewels and nuggets that were in it. Stay with us. We'll be back on Wednesday of this week. Great. More stories. More stories. Great stories. Sorry about that as well as guests. I told you I'm just full and excited about what took place today. Have a great day. You're with Urban Digest.